Hello friends, I'm back after a few weeks off. Um, been busy and tending to the most important thing which has been my health and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I've seen noticeable improvement um, again and I've really just gone up a step this time. Uh, yesterday I finished my studies in disability support. I was going two days a week. Um, I could stay for about three, three and a half hours which at, at the start of the year was an impossibility. When I started this series, and I'm so grateful, um, I started these studies last year. After three lessons, I crashed out, had to take two and a half months off, and I've, with persistence, I've got through um, and been able to finish off some stuff at home, which is really great. <clears throat> As I said, my health has improved, and I'm gonna talk a bit more about that. I feel more stability in my body, I feel, um, more energy to be able to do more things throughout the day, which is really great. And most importantly, I feel myself heading in that direction where I'm gonna be fully healthy. And um, <clears throat> I can just see what it takes and finally on this journey, able to implement these things. Um, one thing that's been really important is planning out my week. So if I know I've got study on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I know that after study, I do nothing, I come home. So for example, this week after study, each day I've come home, I've had a nap for about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. I've got up. Before I would go on my phone and just check things if I had a bit of energy, but I said, nah, I'm just not doing it. I'm just allowing myself, my body, my mind to rest. Uh, this week I've gone, I've had a salt bath both days. Um, after that I've come out, I've had a green juice, I've listened to some quiet music and then taken the dog up to the Oval at around 4 o'clock, uh, come home for dinner and then if I want to check a few things I can. So I'm basically giving myself long breaks of rest after activity to recuperate. Whereas before what I would do is I would come home and even if I had a little bit of energy I would just try to, to push myself as far as I could, thinking that progress is doing more Whereas sometimes progress is actually doing nothing because it allows your body to heal. And I ask myself the question, how am I gonna to feel tomorrow? Because if I push myself today too far, just for that little bit extra, I'm gonna feel like rubbish tomorrow and have to rest and I'm just gonna regret it. But the feeling of being disciplined and taking that time to rest after study and then waking up fresher the next day is so, worth it <laughs> i'm just so glad and then you can keep building up you're not going down on days and up and down and you just have to change the way that you do things so that's been something really good the other thing as well is i've talked about the impact that electronics have on me you're probably sick of me talking about the the, the way that screens drain me i don't know why it is but at the start of this year, I could, I could hardly look at a screen again. I, it was just, every time I looked at it, it was under duress. Now I'm able to look at the screens much more. It's great. But I've realized as well that I want to control the way that, that I do things. I don't want things to control me. And I've been working with my mentor. I've been checking in every night with him. And this accountability thing has transformed my life. It has. I just haven't been able to just take shortcuts and get away with it. I've had to report to someone and we, on the days that I've done too much or if I've done a couple of days where I've broken the rules, there's been punishments in place and I've paid the price for it. And those punishments are things that have helped me to heal too, like staying off of those things. So at the moment I put into place where I can check my phone. I can't check it before eight o'clock in the morning. I can do a quick check at eight and then I don't check it till 10 o'clock. So that gives me such a great time in the morning when my body's at its flattest to really just be off of electronics altogether and just to start the day with a clear mind. I start the day in prayer, I start the day taking the dog up to the oval as well on days that I have off, so it's really great. And then by that time my body's built up, I can do a little bit of checking the phone. I'm only allowed to do an hour and a half a day, so I have to be selective of what I put in and a, a maximum of 20 pickups of the phone in a day. So sticking to that has helped me tremendously. It's not just a, a measure that um, 
It is a band-aid solution. It's something that actually allows my body to heal by removing stresses. And then after I've done an, an, a one and a half hours, I've done that the last few weeks, I'm looking next week to go up to two. So I'm looking to build in that way, but I want to be able to um, just c control the things that I'm doing and do them for the reasons that I want to do them. So that's been a real positive. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it feels great to be doing these things day in, day out. It's not easy. There's so many times when I've been bored. There's so many times when I've wanted to do more. Um, but I'm just trying to pace myself at the moment. And even with walking and things like that as well, after um, doing, after busy days, I won't go for walks now. Before I try to push myself. And uh, at the moment, I'm probably doing about either a 15 minute walk or a half hour walk on a day. And I, I really want to build that up over the next few months to just, to just get higher and higher and higher. And I'd love to be doing an hour a day. Um, I've also been able to start on some strength exercises to really tone up. I want to, I want to become strong. I want to become lean. I want to really get healthy. Um, and I've also been eating really well with my diet too. The thing, the thing with this is you don't have to be perfect and I've been far from perfect. But what I do is I've got set meals that I know I'm going to have. My breakfast shake is healthy. My lunch is healthy. Um, I've got healthy snacks in place and um, then I can make allowances on some nights if, if I want to have a bit of a treat or something here and there. But basically, I, I've just, I'm just doing the right things consistently every day and I'm seeing results because of it. This is usually the point, I'll get to a point like this or even a couple of weeks ago where I feel good and then all of a sudden I'll just add in more and I'll go backwards. So I'm really mindful now of just continuing to move forward. And I think to myself, if I had put this stuff in place earlier, I would be fully healthy already. But I'm grateful that I'm putting it in place now and not in five years down the track either. So I'm really committed to this. Today is gonna to be a day of complete rest after study. I'm just doing this quick video now. Um, and I'm gonna take the next week or so now that study is finished to just completely relax and uh, work on a few things, but just build up stronger and stronger. And I'm just really excited about where this is heading. So for those who have been watching this video, as you can see that at the start of the year, I um, couldn't do anything. I was just completely knocked out again, which was very frustrating. And by putting these things in place, I've slowly built up. What I want to share with you coming up is just seeing even more improvement, even more improvement and, and just seeing myself start to being able to climb up the hills again like I love doing, being able to work on things for more hours in a day and building myself back up to the capacity where I'm able to get myself back into work as well in the coming months would be fantastic. So I hope that this is an encouragement to anyone who's been struggling with, with illness. Um, this is just my journey. These are the things that I've been doing. Um, but all I can say is that put these things in place consistently and you're going to see results. That's, that's what, that's what I can say. Every channel and video talks about this. You have to pace yourself. You have to allow your body to heal. And if there are any stresses, try to remove them. If there's anything that's healing, add it in your life. Don't overload too much on the one day and just live this out with consistency. So that's been my last few weeks and uh, I look forward to keep going on this journey. I'm excited where it's going. Uh, take care, friends. Good health. Talk to you soon. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below and don't forget to share with your friends.